Hey everyone, Mac is back. Today I want to talk about a uh, about war prep and how to get into your uh, you know PVP if you're getting it or you're if you're fighting in KVK or uh, you know Alliance Quest or something like that where you need to um, Alliance Conquest where you need to uh, prepare for your you know maximum amount of stats that you can get uh, to kind of build up. So uh, I had a request for this, uh, so I just wanted to put this together and. Uh, and help anybody out who may uh, who may be kind of sort of new to the game or just uh, maybe it's might forget something that they're uh, trying to put together so uh, let's get to it first and foremost you want to change your talents um, it's the most basic thing in, in the game to change over so you click on your talents and you can see there's a battle production uh, talents so you want to um, if you haven't done it already make sure you archive it find your you know create your archives here you need to you unlock these to research and find out what your army, you know, what, which one your army is. Apply it. It's going to ask you to use the talent reset. Uh, I'm not going to do this for just for uh, it's just demonstration purposes. But uh, so do it with your army, change it, apply it, and then you're good to go. Um, when you're doing that, um, obviously, if you haven't, if you're if you're new to the game, start at the very bottom. Well, you're going to have to unlock. But unlock from the top to the bottom, just uh, just to get to the bottom unlock. Once you get the bottom unlocked, you want you know you want to work your way up because this is where the higher bonuses are. Don't worry about uh, certain ones. You know, you don't want to worry about bow or fortification or training and stuff like that. Just all get your all your bonuses in there for the talents. Very very simple. Um, the next thing you want to do is your equipment. So you click on your uh, your equipment archive here, and you have different ones. Whatever, however you want to set it up. You know, if you're just if you're a spear imp, if you're uh, just a pure cav, maybe depending on how you do it, imp cav something like that. Uh, click on that uh, and put that together. So for instance. I would be putting, you know, say I put the spear cab, boom, I put that up here, and here I am. Um, and then I want, then you want to put your badge presets, so whatever your badge presets may be. So you might have, if you're doing imp cab, there you go. If you're doing spear imp, you know. Um, so I just, I would do the same thing here, my imp spear calves, so Then I apply that, which was already on there anyway. So there you go. Make sure that you change your lord to uh, to someone who's going to be in your formation. So someone who's always going to be in your formation. So. I use Seg for I use Seg or Annie or you know depending on who you, who you have, but I typically I would I use Seg because he's a total attack commander, so I'm going to have him pretty much in every single one of my formations. So I always put Seg in here too. Um, just make sure that you get that. So right right there in this um, when you get in your overview, uh, you you have everything ready here. You just click on your talents, get your equipment put up, put in together, and then get all your uh, badges in there as well. Next, what you need to do is for your total attack here in the Sept of the Seven, you need to uh, initiate one of these. So you'll have your 20% total attack. Uh, whichever one you want to do, there's four, 12, you know, 12, 24 hours. I, 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 I typically use the, the four hours because sometimes I want to put the curfew on because I don't want to be scouted. So that's always something uh, there as well. Um, army size, you want to make sure you get in here, put a, you know, pop a 20, 50, or 75%. You want. Um, depending on the event that you're in, so if you're in Alliance Conquest, you know, probably a 50%. You know, if you're out there doing PvP and, uh, you know, in some other uh, form, uh, some other event, or just Castle Siege, or just fighting in general, 75 is, is typically a good one too, since you're, uh, you want the max amount of, uh, you know, solo value if you can. Um, and then another one that a lot of people don't often do, and um, they don't even, actually, they don't even think about, is the, uh, the Fervor attack here. So, or just Fervor in general. So if you are a 25 castle, um, you're going to be in fervor for 15 minutes when you uh, when you attack. Um, so if depending on how you're, like you see here, it says fervor inactive. So I'm not getting any of these bonuses. You get these bonuses once you go into fervor, and I get an extra 20 20 percent um, total attack just being in fervor. And then you obviously obviously get your your health and your defense as well. So definitely be in fervor if you're uh, you know if you and and people think that well you're people probably asking. Uh, you know why or I'm always going to be in fervor if I'm attacking that, that and I'm like that is that's very true but if you if you do see if you do sit idle for that 15 minutes and the fervor does wear off and then someone tries to solo you or even rally you or something and you're not paying attention and you're not in fervor then you're not going to be able to get these bonuses um, the best way to do that is to just scout something if you can't attack it just scout someone's castle and then you'll go right into fervor for the 15 minutes and Obviously, it's, it's dangerous, too, because you can't bubble up once you're in fervor, so uh, it's just something to uh, consider uh, as well. So once you've 
popped off your uh, army size increase and you've increased the 20 use a 20 percent buff you need to configure your army because your your size of your army has changed since you uh, did the the uh, army increase buff so you need to come in here you need to figure out which ones you're, you're going to really use which formations and you need to edit that based on what it is so for instance you know my typical is infantry spear um, you know you can see the other ones i have here as well i, I kind of try to be as balanced as i possibly can and then you choose your you're going to choose your commanders as well. You probably should already have this done, but you can see some of the commanders that I have based on this type of formations. Uh, so infantry spear, if I go in to edit that. So right now it has them all in there and you can see my total is 705,000 with the commander buffs because the, each commander adds a certain amount. So like SEG's, gonna, they're all gonna add 21, 21, 21, and 21. So right there, you're gonna have another extra 100,000 uh, troops uh, taking the battle just from your commanders alone. So my base is around, I want to say about 600,000 here. So um, you're going to get in here, you're going to clear this selection. Uh, make sure you have your best dragon in there with the best skills on there. There's something else that uh, people might not be thinking about too is to uh, change that, change your dragon skills. I'm not going to go into that, it's pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Go in, take your, you know, your gathering ones off and put your fighting ones on, whatever we have, your infantry, calves, spear attacks, and health, so if you didn't get any other Especially ones that you have them. So, right here, you want to come in and you want to just, you know, pick your, uh, you know, whatever your front line is. You know, put a little t uh, tier tier three in there, buff to, uh, or tier three uh, meat shield, and then pick your tier fours and whatnot. Don't forget to change the formation. That's very, very important. Um, you can see here it's up. I already have it set to infantry spear, but you have to. Sometimes uh, you may change that for different things, um, especially at other formations too. So make sure that you find the, get the right formation. You don't want to be, uh, you know attacking with three troop types and or even two troop types and I don't want to you know so this is infantry spear I don't want to be attacking with um, you know spear infantry and not have that the spear a lot of spear health and defense up there to be able to protect my troops so that's just uh, but so once you're finished with this you'll just save it and then um, whenever you need to attack you'll have the quick keys and you can just hit the you know in spear boom and then attack and uh, you can attack them very quickly two other aspects that you don't want to overlook are the castle exterior and the marching animations. So you wanna make sure you get those buffs as well. So you go to customize here um, at your main castle and then use the one that, that fits you best. Um, depending on which one you have, um, you know, you can pop the, you can actually pop off some of these ones that, uh, that are they're not permanent, that are only temporary. So you can see I actually have this one, still have some time left on it. I use it for the past KVK and it gives you an extra 20%. Uh, this is one of the better castle skins to use too. If you have, if you don't have this one or have any other ones to try to use, um, if you have, if you do get the honor token, that one actually is pretty good because it gives you a total attack of 10% plus some defense and health, and then some hospital capacity and uh, army enemy army defense reduction. So that's a pretty good one as well. Uh, another one I recommend, which is actually pretty good too, is the this one here, the Shadow of Valyria, because you're actually getting the fervor attack, health, and defense of 7% across the board plus rally size and reinforcement capacity. So that's really really nice as well. And then also look into if you have any of the marching animations. Depends on your formation, but like so for this one here, it has cab and spear. So if you have a cab or spear front, uh, you know, or formation with this cab and spear, that's what you're going to want. And this other one here is infantry and cab. So if you're an infantry cab kind of person, then this would be something you'd want as well. So those are uh, always uh, nice to have. And don't forget, this is, I've, I've been, uh, I've, I've forgotten a few times as well. Like if you don't have any of these ones and you only have temporary ones in here. So, and just like I said, and if you don't know what I mean by temporary, so if I click on this winter carol, you can see that here it says a three days and has one of one. So I would click on this and then I would say redeem it. And then once I redeem it, I, would, I could get this for three days and it would be temporary. So I get hospital capacity, but I get defense, health, and transport marching speed. So this one really is that great, but you kind of see what I'm talking about. And the last two uh, buffs that you want to get, and again, don't overlook these as well because they do give you a nice uh, little... Uh, Little, little attack I say little it's actually significant but so you want to try to get the highest Lord you want to try to get a 60 Lord in your dungeon if you can so hopefully you have like a, a Hall of Faces that you're using or um, just another you know alt somewhere that you can kill or not kill but keep with you in your dungeon as well so like you click on your dungeon you go to the um, uh, actually you go over here and you go to it telling you what you're the question mark telling you which one you use. this is the glory level don't worry about that it's the normal level you want so if you scroll down to the bottom you can actually see that there's a level 20 
Um, level 25 castle, the 40% here is the, that's the execution rate. You don't really, really care about that. What you care about is the very bottom here, where the level 60 ca uh, level 60 ca or, uh, lord that you have will give you a 30% attack bonus. So that's really significant. So if you need a lord in there to give you that extra uh, attack bonus, that's that's a especially if you run two or three troop types. That even if you run a single, of course, but the, especially for the two and three, because that means you're giving it 60 to 90% extra extra attack as well. So. Make sure you get try to get the highest lore possible. A 55 would be uh, 55 to 59 is actually um, still really good at 23%, but the ideal one is 60. And then beyond that is the Hall of Faces. Um, make sure you have that buff. Um, as you can see, I don't have mine right now. I've been slacking recently, but uh, look at all those buffs that you get just by having, um, you know, just by sacrificing a, uh, a lord into your Hall of Faces. So um, very, very nice bonuses that you're going to want to have. So uh, I hope this helped everybody out, and uh, the only other thing that I actually didn't mention was that if you can get the uh, King's Landing buffs, if you are in, you know, um, if you're playing Alliance Conquest and your server lets you do that, you can request maybe like the Lord Commander's buff, so you can get some extra, uh, extra uh, stats there for uh, just while you go into it. Now when you're fighting in like KVK or something like that, you can't really do that. Um, there are, you have, and plus you have to have someone who's, uh, who's willing to do that at King's Landing, that Alliance, so... Like I said, I hope this helps everybody out. And if you have any questions, uh, let me know. Uh, until next time, Mac out.